Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King unboxing. Today, I don't actually have the box to unbox it because there was other stuff that came in it, but today we are talking about Night Shift. The Cemetery Dance Double Day Gift Edition. So, without further ado, let's get to the table. All right, so with this new setup I got, I can be on this side instead of reaching around. All right, here we go. So this is the Cemetery Dance Double Day uh, edition of Night Shift by Stephen King. Of course, here is, there's the spine. And there's, oh, can y'all see that? Yeah. I think it's reversed, right? Whatever, yeah, it was, that was right. That's what that looks like, okay. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and take this out, set this over to the side. There you go. All right. So like we usually do, we're going to take the dust jacket off. So, oh, it looks the exact same as the, as the case. So put this over here, flip this over. All right. So that is what the dust jacket looks like. And on the back it says, in the ominous frightening world of Stephen King, there are things unimagined, almost unspeakable, working the night shift. Strange persons in Jerusalem's lot, a town abandoned for generations and with good reason. Okay, so this is just snippets from, from different stories. I'll go ahead and show you guys actual interior of the book. I wish they did different end papers. These are okay, I guess. Um, that's a lot. Oh, I got it upside down. That's why. My bad. Okay. So, got this. Said this slipcase gift edition is limited to 3,000 copies. That's amazing. I'm very happy with that. Okay. There's the title page. Title card. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try and get through. All right. Try and find the pictures like we do. Oh, so these are only black and white. Weren't the uh, other gift editions in color and glossy? I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, I have to go back and look at my videos for those. That's really cool. Is that Jerusalem's Lot? I think that's Jerusalem's Lot. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's Jerusalem's Lot. Alright, so next we have... Ooh, yeah. What is that? Graveyard Shift? Probably not. Can't remember what this one is. It's a big vampire. What is this? Oh, this is Graveyard Shift. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. I got it right. Ha ha. Because it's a gigantic rat. <clears throat> or monsters. Whatever they are. Alright. This one. This one is... Night Surf. Next, I Am the Doorway. This is a really cool story. I hope... Yeah, there we go. I Am the Doorway. Let's move this over a little bit. There you go. At least you're centered. So. All right. We have the Mangler, Spooby. Anybody like the uh, the Robert England movie adaptation? I actually like it. It's a uh, it's fun. It's stupid. The Boogeyman. It's just good old popcorn fun. Ooh, the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman. All right. Oh, let's see here. What we got next? Then we have Gray Matter. And it's a Pennywise short story. Ooh, look. That's gnarly. 
Then we have Battleground. This is one of my uh, favorite stories in here. Just for the imagination of it. The little uh, army men and everything. I have a lot of fun with this story. If you don't know, this is my favorite Stephen King collection. Hands down, Trucks. Which uh, became the utterly goofy movie... Uh, was it Maximum Overdrive, which uh, a coked out Stephen King actually directed himself. All right, so that's cool. I like the bone sticking out there. I like the detail of these pictures, even if they are just in black and white. All right, next up we have Sometimes They Come Back. Y'all like that movie? I thought it was pretty cool. I have no complaints about it anyway. All right. Next, we have Strawberry Spring. And there's the, oh, that's really cool. I hope y'all can see that. If you can't, I suggest enlarging your screen the best you can. And uh, I don't know if you can zoom in or not. If I get any closer, I think it's gonna blur this camera. I'm getting a new camera soon, so hopefully that'll be better for the, uh, was it the autofocus? The ledge. All right. So this is this is the ledge where the guy puts the isn't it isn't he cheating? This guy is uh, messing with this dude's wife or whatever. So he puts him out on the ledge. Then the lawnmower man, which is probably one of the worst Stephen King adaptations. Next to what, Grandma? Oh <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Actually, it's called Mercy. The mo the grandma adaptation's called Mercy. It's got the kid, Coral, you know, from The Walking Dead. Uh, it was really, really bad. Quitters, Inc. This guy, oh, Crazy James Woods. I think Stephen King has a bad Twitter account, bro. Look at James Woods. Holy crap. All right. <clears throat> That's cool. Got the smoke coming up to her. That's awesome. I like that a lot. All right. I know what you need. And that is what you need. <laughs> this, I, I, like, I really like this. It's very reminiscent of the old EC comics. Is that right? EW? I can't remember. But the old, uh, like, uh, Tales from the Dark Side, that kind of thing. EW, I can't remember. Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. It's very reminiscent of that art style. Then we have Children of the Corn. I actually like this movie, though most people don't. Especially most Stephen King fans. What are we looking at here? All right. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Wow. The Scarecrows are bodies. And dude's freaking out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And we have The Last Rung on the Ladder, which is an amazing story. It's probably my second favorite in this collection. Yeah, there you go. Man. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, and we have The Man Who Loved Flowers. <laughs> Hammer time. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I love the expressions in this artwork. Once again, I really wish these were color. Uh, one for the road. What, what gets me is this was the same price as that massive Salem's Lot, The Shining, all that. All that had cutter, colored artwork for the uh, gift editions. And this one did not. What am I? Hang on here. Which one is this? One for the road? Yeah, this is one for the road. This is the uh, Stephen, not Stephen King, the Salem's Lot short story. The Woman in the Room. Ooh, that's a pretty bland picture. Drawing, whatever you want to call it. That's really, really bland. They couldn't find anything else. 
Uh, my buddy Max asked me to especially do this and give my opinion on the quality of this one because he thought it felt cheap. There's the, there's the Afterward by Stuart O'Nan. Never could get into his stuff. Uh, acknowledgements. And we have bonus section. Like a DVD bonus section. All right. The Glass Floor. As published in Weird Tales Fall 1990. So we got a new story. The Glass Floor. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not going to look at this. I'll let you guys look at that because I want to read this story. I don't think I've ever read this one. All right. Oh, weeds for the first time, I believe. No, wait, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, was weeds in, because this is the Jordy Varel uh, one, the bad death of Jordy Varel or whatever from Creepshow. That's this one. Was it in, uh, was it in Bizarre of Bad Dreams or was that the cat from hell? Uh, yeah, I would, it'd been funny if they had to actually use Stephen King's face, like from the, the movie, that would have been funny. All right. And then, Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. This is just, this is more, that's what he finally looks like. That is so cool. Almost looks like a swamp thing or a man thing or anything like that. Anything like that. Get, get it, get it, get it, get it. And that's it. So thank you for joining me. This has been not really an unboxing, but a showcase of uh, Stephen King's Night Shift, the uh, Double Day Gift Edition. Well, it's a Double Day series, and it is the Gift Edition in that series. Uh, my overall, they had to change printers uh, because I guess one went out of business or whatever, really screwed them up during the whole uh, Sleeping Beauties thing. And that was the last limited I got from them. I believe all the rest of the stuff came from either IDW or Dark Regions or uh, Suntup or Letter Press, Letterhead Press. I don't know. But uh, this is this definitely I got to agree with Max. This is definitely a, a, a lesser quality. And because this one was the same price as Carrie and Salem's Lot and The Shining, I don't think I got my money's worth, especially not with the, I guess it's because all it's black and white because there's so many, they had to do a picture for every, uh, every single story in here and then extras. Um, maybe the, co the extra content will make up for the lack of colored illustrations, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down there in the doobly doo, but until next time I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Stephen King Showcase Limited Edition. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.